hi guys, maybe you're like me and you have a little ZV-E10 and a small lens. So you have a Crane M2S by Zhiyun, which is absolutely perfect. But what if you have a little bit of a bigger setup? Oh, look at this. We got the Crane M3. He looks like a stormtrooper and he is awesome for a little bit more girth. Sounded wrong. But what if you need more than that? Oh, ho, 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 have I got something for you. This is the Weeble 3, and it is a beast, as the kids say on the YouTubes. So first of all, big thanks to Jayoon for sending out the Weeble 3 pre-release, huh? I had to sign an NDA, an embargo thingamabob. So, oh man, all the clicks. I'm going to be rich and famous now. And I really, really like this gimbal. If you need a little bit of a heavier setup. Now, here's the thing. I'm just going to straight away, I will say, a lot of people will ask me in the comments about the other gimbals. Does it work with this camera and this lens? And here's the thing is uh, what Jayun does, which makes perfect sense, is that they give you the uh, camera and lens combinations that will work with the gimbal. A lot of people, they just say, how much weight does it hold? Does it hold 10 pounds? Does it hold six pounds? It just depends. It depends on whether or not the uh, camera and lens can be balanced because the motors in a lot of their gimbals are very strong. So if you get a good balance, then you are good to go. So in the description of this video, I will uh, send a link so that you, I won't send a link, I will have a link and you can click on that link and go to it where you can figure out if your camera and your lens are approved on the list for Zhiyun, and if they are, then uh, this gimbal is something you should heavily consider. So as you can see, this is quite a contraption. This is actually the combo package. It comes with a handle here, and a uh, they call it a wrist rest, because you can rest your wrist on it. So you can hold it by the handle, and then the wrist thing goes on your forearm. It's, it's actually quite nice, and uh, it also comes with a bag. It's kind of like a like a like an army knapsack type of thing where it's long. You could stuff clothes in it if you want. You could fit a lot of things in there. Or if you wanted to be, you know, like maybe like a sexy hitchhiker, you know, going down the road with your little knapsack or whatever satchel. Jayun always goes above and beyond when it comes to the cases. But that will cost you. Uh, what's the price? It's going to be five twenty nine USD for the whole combo kit. But if you don't want the combo, you can do four forty nine. So you won't have the handle or the wrist rest. So you can take those things off right there. But one of the reasons I do really like the wrist rest is that uh, actually, see, because it comes with this little tripod, that comes both the uh, standard and the combo kit. But if you take this off and you have the wrist rest, it actually is still quite sturdy on the ground. So you can rest your gimbal. That I've never had a gimbal without the tripod that you could just set down, which is really cool. But you see how much more compact the gimbal is when you take off those two accessories. So it's up to you whether or not you might want to do it. I personally like having the option. I would run the gimbal probably a lot like this for a while. But then when I get tired or if I'm going to do a really long session, I'd like to have that handle and that wrist rest. And even though it's a really strong gimbal, it actually only weighs one point. 24 kilograms, which is much less than the Weeble 2, which came in at 1.5 kilograms. So it's nice that the weight went down, but also, which is really great, is that uh, the runtime, the battery runtime on this guy is 21 hours. You compare that to the nine hours of the Weeble 2, and there is no comparison. You can shoot this all day. Are you going to shoot for more than 21 hours in a day? My God, get some sleep. It is made so well. It feels premium. It's solid. It's sturdy. It's just, it's smart. Look at this. The uh, It's got a little magnetic key on the bottom there, a little wrench so that you can just screw it onto the camera and you don't have to take an Allen key or a quarter with you because it is magnetically attached very clever. I like that. And it's the easiest gimbal I have ever used in terms of balancing. Uh, just let me show you quickly uh, how to balance it. Okay, let me just show you how easy it is to balance this thing. This is in the travel position, fully locked, ready to go. So you unlock your motors so that uh, your gimbal is set up, ready for you. Get your little Manfrotto style plate here, and then you uh, just attach this through here and then I like to lock that to keep it in. Now you need your base plate for your camera 
and you need your little wrench, which is of course attached by a magnet. Once you have that screwed on there, you just attach your little thing back to the magnet so that you don't lose it and uh, slide her on in. And then I will lock that. Now you are ready to start balancing. So if you unlock this motor here, the tilt bar, you'll see it'll go straight down. So what I wanna do is slide my Manfrotto plate back until it is level. So now it's level and I just lock that. And now you point the lens upwards and you see it tilting this way, you want it to stay straight up. So you loosen this guy here, slide this down the tilt arm until it stays level. Then you tighten that guy up. Now I'm ready to, uh, oh, I have to readjust this one here just a little. Now that I, yep, and now click it back. And there we go, okay, great. So now I lock that and I'm ready for this arm here. And oddly, that is already balanced. So uh, let's just say that it wasn't balanced. What you would do is uh, this one here, you do that arm and then let's say it wasn't balanced, it was going down there. You just push it over until it is balanced. Okay, now it's going too far that way. Now that's good. And I lock my little switch again here. So now that arm is balanced. Last one we have is uh, the bottom arm here. And now I unlock this. Now you have to tilt this over so that to see if it spins or not. And it spins. So still spins. Still and then that's good. So now I can lock that. Now I unlock all the motors and now the camera will stay in position wherever I put it, which means it is perfectly balanced. Now you can turn on your gimbal and I'm looking at my monitor up top in case you're wondering where my eye line is. You're probably not. So this is it, ready to go. Can control by the joystick. You are uh, ready for action. Pretty easy. In fact, the easiest gimbal I have ever balanced, certainly. And now let's go outside for a brief overview on the features it has. So let me show you a little bit about the gimbal here. When you power it on, it goes directly into pan follow in terms of its mode. And here's the M for mode. You can switch that between locked and follow and pan follow, but you double click and it goes into point of view mode. Double click again and it goes into vortex mode. So you can be Alfred Hitchcock if you want. Double click again and it goes into portrait mode. Now this is, uh, if you wanna do, I'm gonna get in the shot. If you wanna do your booty popping uh, and your tick tocking, then uh, you wanna go into the portrait mode. It's got this nice little joystick here where you can control the up and the down. And uh, then it has the record button, which when connected by a cable to uh, this guy, this USB-C port right here, you can control the camera depending on the camera. Different cameras have different functionality. I will leave a list in the description below. Move it over to the side here. We got our menu button. So this is how you scroll through your menus. You press your menu button and then you go down with this wheel and you can adjust pretty much whatever you want to adjust, whatever your taste is, then uh, you know you can really make minor adjustments right here on the screen with this thing. All intuitive, easy laid out. And uh, right here we have a scroll wheel. You know, the default is a roll, but you can switch it to uh, whatever you want. A fly just bit me on the head. You can uh, make it pan or tilt, and you can also switch it to things like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, depending on your camera and the functionality. This little trigger here is great. You uh, double click it and it resets it to where everything was. So you do this and then reset, and then uh, you're, you're good to go. You're back to balanced. And if you want to hold down the trigger, then you go into go mode and that means the uh, camera will the gimbal will respond really fast to you say you're chasing some guy you know and you want to get him in frame like because he asked you not because you're creepy you know you're taping an athlete of some kind and now uh, you hold down the go button and you go all of the air conditioners just kicked on here all of them oh and the menu wheel has another function if you hold it down for long enough then what comes on is this little light right here 
and um, you can adjust the color temperature. Oh, I just adjusted the brightness. Press it again, color temperature goes down to 2600, goes up to 5400. We will do a night vlog and we will test that thing out. And maybe we'll test out the mic while we're at it because there is a little microphone right here, if you haven't noticed, and that can connect to your camera. Now, I'm not exactly sure why you would use that, but uh, maybe your camera, your on-camera mic is terrible or it doesn't work and you can just go right into, uh, but, and who knows, you know, maybe it's great. We will, we will check it out. Now, I mentioned over there in Handsome Alley about the connectivity. I will leave a link once again in the description to which cameras do what. Uh, there are more functions than others depending on your camera. Unfortunately for me, I have an a7 IV and a ZV-E10. Those two cameras are not supported at all. There is no connectivity whatsoever other than charging the battery. So uh, they said, uh, Jiyun, when I contacted them, that they will um, look into the support of those two cameras. They hope to add more and they do plan to add support for the ZV-E10 and the a7 IV, hopefully. But the thing is, for me, I don't actually hook up wires and stuff to my gimbals generally. It, you already have to take out a gimbal, balance it. I just like to use it for its function. I don't want extra wires and extra thing. Now, if you get a nice follow focus and Jayun sells one of those and actually goes along with this gimbal, you can buy it separately and it will go together. And that makes a lot of sense if you're on a set and you're doing something like that. But in terms of just operating the camera from the gimbal itself, I don't really care about that and I never do it. But for those of you who do care about it, make sure that you check the list and see if your camera is supported and what it does and if that's cool with you. Now it comes with a bag of wires, every wire under the sun for every connection that you want. And it also has a uh, mic connection for the microphone that is in the uh, gimbal itself. And it comes with these little, do I have them? These little gels that Jiyun has been doing on their gimbals and you can stick different colors on your light to create, I mean, look, if you wanna match the gimbal to like, let's say you're at a, a nightclub and uh, the lights are all crazy blue and purple and whatever, and you, you may wanna just stick that on the gimbal so that it matches the lights in your fancy dance club, you crazy partying kids. Oh, and speaking of the gels, let's go out and do a little night vlogging and see how that goes. Okay, do not turn off your video. This is just how dark it is in the backyard here. So I'm gonna turn this on, this light, I'll turn it on and woo, uh, look at that. I had set up the exposure ahead of time. This is perfect, I'm at 60% right now. I have an f1.4 lens, the Sony, the new 15 millimeters. I have eye tracking, look at this. I think I was just bitten by a raccoon, but at least you can see me. You can see me as I get rabies. And uh, yeah, this has a lot more power to go. And I have a little ZV-E10 out here right now, which is actually great in terms of uh, the weight here. It's, it's quite light when it's paired with the ZV-E10 and this 15 millimeter lens from Sony. Oh, and hey, let's not forget about the gels. They're in here somewhere, right? Ooh, look at this. Don't worry about the air conditioner that just kicked on, ruining my audio. It's like I'm one of those indie hipster kids, you know, that only shoots on film. I shoot on film. I, I uh, develop my own films in, in my dark room. And if you don't do that, then you're lesser. You're lesser than me. And this is when you want to make a movie about survivors on an iceberg. Look at us. We're so cold. We're so cold. Did I mention, by the way, that uh, you press the joystick three times and it turns this thing into selfie mode? I may not have mentioned that, but that is what I'm doing right now at the little ZV-E10. This is a lot of fun. All right, let's go back inside and bandage our raccoon bites. And now as I fumble around in the dark, I will test the microphone that is on the gimbal itself. I am literally trying not to die literally. People use that all the time incorrectly, including me, but I am actually not trying to die in my backyard here. I'm just, there's so many kids things. And that was a sprinkler I just tripped on, which is not one of the kids things. Although they do like to run through it. I'm running on right now because I want to hear how this microphone quality sounds compared to what you already heard from the uh, ZV-E10. 
Okay, now we can go back inside. So once again, thanks to Jiyun for sending this out for testing. This is definitely going to be my gimbal going forward for my bigger, heavier setups. My everyday travel gimbal and uh, run and gun stuff is still going to be the Crane M3 as long as I have the camera and the lens that jives with the M3. I love how compact and light and portable that is. But for the cameras that that gimbal can't handle, then I will be going with the uh, Weeble 3. I'm drinking water for my stupid health. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.